and I've been with Cognizant for like close to eight years, doing a lot of strategic and tran transformation initiatives. And I'm one of the first uh, lead, team of my lead assessor in the entire continent of North and South America. Well, if you see the latest trend, how many of you are aware about data ops? Looks very few, okay. So again, as I told, this is one of the emerging trends and we would like to have a deeper look at it. So if you see Gartner report, by 2020, Gartner says almost 80% of the large organizations will be adopting DevOps in some fashion or the other, which is going to be up by 38%. So DevOps, again, has to scale further adopting the strategies of data ops in the modern uh, IT trends. How it can scale up? Let's have a quick look at it. What is data ops? Data ops is nothing but DevOps plus the data systems, the data engineers with analytical mind mindset and how it can be enabled through cloud. And again, it's a very new trend. It's still out in the market. Very few organizations have start started adopting it. Well, the data consumers, there's a lot of pressure on the data consumers. Business wants faster time to market, speed, improvement, visibility. But again, cons I guess, I'm not sure if you're, it's more than 15, is it 15 seconds? 15 seconds. Uh, looks like five seconds for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these are the various roles that you see in uh, data ops. You have uh, data engineers, data analysts, data scientists, and you also have the data ops engineers who focuses on the analytic uh, model of orchestrating your data pipelines. The key things that are needed for any digital data ops journey is effective data governance, automation of your data, and distribution of your data. Well, how many of you know about TDM, test data management? Most of us know. You need data for your testing needs. And this is focused on data masking, data subsetting, taking a golden copy of your production data. But whereas data ops is an end-to-end -end data transformation, scaling up right from your requirements to the end, throughout the entire SDLC it covers. There is a platform called Data Dynamic Platform, which does all the virtualization, saving a lot of data. And again, assume that there is a 10 terabyte of applications. The mo moment you virtualize them, it could be in GBs. So there's a lot of storage capabilities that can be saved using data ops. And again, one missing distribution gap in DevOps is, you see, I mean, there's no distribution pipeline in the entire CI CD model. So data ops will be the one that will be able to fulfill this gap the testing cycles can drastically be improved, maybe even up to 50%. The test cycles can come down drastically. Instead of hours, it could be even minutes. Because you're going to virtualize it. There's a lot that can be done on the cloud. With effective storage capabilities of data ops, you can easily have them enabled in the cloud. You can say, stay, uh, reduce a lot of costing costs related to the operations and everything. And in terms of governance, regulations, when it comes to regulations like HIPAA, I think data ops is going to help you out in a big way. Well, will it going to replace DevOps? No. It's going to further strengthen uh, DevOps by having uh, analytics to it, cloud enablement, and automation. These are some of the key benefits. As I told you, it's going to reduce your release cycle time. It's going to reduce your cost. It's going to improve your storage capabilities and improve your uh, testing uh, cycle times. The first and foremost important thing for any organization to adopt data ops is to have a strategy in place. And this is one of the key essential. For, as a, it's going to be a very key uh, critical success factor if you want to adopt a data ops journey. Well, uh, if you have further questions, you can reach out to me. Uh, I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, if you have any further questions, so thank you so much, and it was great to be here. Thank you.